All right, we're here with Jerry Slayton from the Giants. How's it going? Good. 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 Open up some more uh, contenders draft. I don't know if you've ever opened cards before. I'll slice it for you. It's not too tough. So there's six packs in this box, and each pack in the middle should be an autograph. So guys from your rookie class. Maybe yours is in there. I don't know. There you go. How's the week going? It's going good so yeah. far. A lot of work, huh? Yeah, it has, man. It's been fun, though. Yeah? It's good. You're enjoying it? So they're like that in the middle. Oh, it's that one that was backwards right there. Yep. It's an autograph, huh? Yep. See that? Oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. So, Tony Pollard. Yeah, if you've seen any guys you, you know, you know or you played with or on your team. You can tell us about him. Ed Oliver from Houston on this one. My box. And then like, oh, you got a little shiny. This one. Yeah. Number. Nice. There's only 15 of that version, so it's like a, a rare parallel. Kelvin Harmon. Yeah. That was nice. Mm -hmm. Juan Barkley, new teammate. Oh yeah. If you see in the middle, there's the college. Like there's a Kyler. Yeah. If your card would be in the middle there of the pack. They've got like veterans and kind of Hall of Famer type guys. Yeah, exactly. On their old college teams. Sometimes you forget what colleges those guys play for. <laughs> yeah. You guys have any questions for Slayton? A lot of my guys are. Auburn yeah, Auburn. There you go. Auburn got to show love. Yep. How did you decide on Auburn? Oh, what? Uh, oh, State tournament. what? Listen, you know, families, families, Auburn fans, you know, I went there, took a visit, mm -hmm. just kind of felt like home, so, you know, I was really comfortable making a decision, and grateful for my four years there. Oh, good, good, good. Hey, I get the keys to you, though, right? Hey, we got the Auburn, here we go. I like Auburn, I like Ronnie Brown. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. Come to the games, you get to meet him and stuff. Oh, he's around on the Yeah, team. he's always on the sideline. I mean, I got a good look for him. That's awesome. Yeah, he's cool guy. I loved him when he came into the league. He's a baller. Yeah. Roger Staubach? Yeah. He's got some legends on here. And where did he go? The midshipman. Maybe. Hey, here's some here. Oh, never really gets out. There's an autograph. Miles Sanders from Penn State. Yeah. 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 Running back. You ever meet Bo Jackson? Uh, once or twice, yeah. yeah. Sometimes he just kind of hangs around at Auburn, so it's yeah. pretty cool. You know, That's awesome. To be a legend like that and just kind of come back around and still yeah. you know, talk to guys. You know, he's That's the cool thing about this college, yeah, college football. It seems like they do that. They still are proud of their college no matter what they do in their pro career. They could be the greatest running back ever. They're still, still proud of college, yeah. That's one thing that's special about Auburn. Yeah. Let's see if we can get one of your cards in here. Brian, we might have some of your cards too. There you go. There we go. This is Quadri, Quadri Allison from Pitt. So you had a big uh, Music City Bowl. Game. Yeah, it was a pretty solid day for me. <laughs> yeah. Solid day. That's awesome. That's like playing in a bowl game. That's got to be a lot of fun. Big game. Mean, especially, especially because of different venues, certain venues, you know, yeah. that are close enough to your fan base. I mean, you just get a, you get a really big turnout, so you know, a lot of fun. So are you interested in sports cars? Love them. Sports yeah, because you have some commercials. Yeah. yeah, some sports cars on your Twitter we saw. Yeah, I love them. That's one of your main things, your main yeah. hobbies or passions. Yeah. Definitely. Well, what about Charles Barkley? You come around? All the time, actually. Yeah, yeah he's another guy that's kind of around, and I'm going to do this LJ Scott. LJ Scott autograph? There's a lot of Auburn legends. There is. 
that seems to be constantly growing. Yeah. <laughs> we have a Giants fan in the chat. Have you got to meet with Eli Manning at all yet? Have you done any mini camp, rookie camp stuff? Not uh, yet, right? Yeah, I mean, he's been around, been in practice, throwing the oh, okay. ball, so. But I haven't had a chance to, like, talk to him, you right. know, in length. But, yeah, he's been around. He seems like a good dude. Yeah. We met with uh, Saquon last year. He was awesome. Oh, yeah. He was back in the tent area just talking about, like, his favorite running backs of all time. And, yeah. He's super, like super accessible and cool. Yeah, he seems like he's good really guy. good. He yeah. Bumped into him to, he was kind of telling me about this. Uh, yeah. This guy sounds cool. Oh, look. Another Auburn guy, Carry On Johnson. Oh, yeah. Carry On Johnson, that, Auburn. Or you go to that. Good friend of mine. Yeah. So you went to GAC. Gwinnett County shout out in the chat, they said. Yes, sir. <laughs> shout out G Code. <laughs> Juan Thornhill autograph. Spent a lot of time with Daniel Jones then. So you guys are going to be playing yeah. together. Definitely. He's Definitely right there. Definitely know each other better. How he sees over there doing that. See how he does right here. Oh. oh, that's pretty good. That's a small little tire. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Did you do the one? The yeah, one? man. I, I skimmed right off the top of that edge tire. Oh. Just missed it. The guys are all competitive about it. Like, yeah, asking what scores they got. And there's a Russell Wilson in 99. What else you guys got from him? What do you do when you're... Oh, Caden Smith. What do you do when you're relaxing? Are you like a Netflix guy, video games? Uh, video games. Yeah. More of a gamer, yeah. Yeah. What are you playing? Uh... Madden's football, yeah. so Madden, Apex. Oh man, I love Apex. Uh, yeah, I keep asking Apex. guys, and they're like, no, I play Fortnite. I'm like, you should be playing Apex. I don't, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I was never really, a, actually, I started playing PUBG first. Yeah. So when I went to Fortnite, like, the whole building, I mean, yeah, I don't like you know, that. I didn't really like it. So when exactly. Apex came out, I was like, oh yeah. That's really fun. I, to my opinion, Apex and PUBG are probably the two best of the Battle Royale games. Yeah. But, um, you know. I love Apex. Who do you like to play on Apex? Like, what characters? Probably my two favorites by Bangalore yeah. and Caustic. Okay, Caustic. Because of the, the poison traps. Yeah. Those are annoying. Very annoying. <laughs> God. They are Even though you annoying. can shoot them, it's like they go off and then there's like four of them in a room and you like can't get out of there. I like uh, Bangalore is my favorite too. I've been playing... Uh, oh, yeah, Cam Newton. I've been playing the Lifeline, the healer. A lot lately. Yeah. It's just nice to be able to heal. Yeah, she's a good one. Yeah. I mean, he is Dan the man. Yeah, yeah. Daniel Jones. It's your autograph. Dax Raymond. Yeah, I love that game. I've been yeah, thinking yeah, about yeah. it all week. Like, oh, I can't wait to get home. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, my Xbox is back in Jersey. Oh, uh, okay. I will definitely be on it when I get back. Yeah. Home. Yeah, Apex is good game. My friends use Pathfinder a lot, actually. He actually yeah, comes Pathfinder. in handy to have. He does. Here. I don't like being him. I know. But if on your team, you actually come in handy. Yeah, that zip line thing can get you up to spots, especially if you're down at the last couple circles. You can get up oh, in a yeah. spot where people can't get you. Yeah, I always want. I want like a, a lifeline and a pathfinder in my group. If someone if doesn't use one of those, I'll use. You know, I'll be one of those too. You know, I don't like like Bangalore's uh, her major with the bombs. I feel like it just takes. Yeah, it, and they never hit anybody. Yeah. No. <laughs> Johnny he Dixon. Yeah, her ultimate is weak. The one guy, it's not caustic, but uh, Gibraltar, his bomb things just kill everybody. Well, They're so they, much better. Because they, they explode on impact. Yeah. They don't sit there. Yeah. So there's no time for people to run away. Right. Yeah, that's true. The smoke is pretty invaluable, though, for Bangalore. Like, yeah, definitely. And her, and her ability to speed up when you get shot at, yeah. that comes in super hard. Yeah. Finally found somebody who likes Apex. Everyone Fortnite, all the time Fortnite. I'm like, yeah, nah, nah, Apex nah. is way better. Way better game. It's like an adult game. It's an adult version of Fortnite, <laughs> I feel like. Yeah, you ever shoot. Yeah, and the first... So I had the... Like in February when it came... Did it come out February? March? Oh, Emmanuel Hall to 99. I got the flu back in February, March when it came out, and so I just played that game like 10 hours a day because I couldn't do anything. <laughs> and uh, 
the first like <clears throat> I'd never played a battle royale so if I got one kill like it was like a good game it's so hard I, that game like started out hard for me I would never win yeah it took me like I was like level 20 before I got my first win it kind of depends on kind of who's your teammates yeah. kind of who you run into for sure some people, you know, obviously, there's always people that are way too good at games. Right. If you run into that guy early in the game, it's going to be, it's not going to be any fun for you. Yeah, you learn, too, that, like, if you hear gunshots, go run to him because you can kind of, like, pick off the, you know, the other group. Oh, I got a redemption. Oh, Drew Locke. So these are when, if you guys aren't able to sign the cards in time, they have to put these in there. Yeah. And then once you sign them and send them in, like, the customer sends this in and then they'll mail it to him. Oh, uh, yeah. So, we got a Drew Locke redemption. Or PS. Who had the Broncos in uh, case one of contenders? It's Drew Locke. So, yeah, we always ask, sign your stuff so we don't have to. Because, you know, I mean, it looks so much cooler to have your actual yeah, card in the box than a white piece of paper. <laughs> I can definitely get it. But, like, during the year, it's tough. You guys are, you know, traveling and playing. And that's why they do this whole week, try to get them, while, you know, while you're here, just get everything signed and for the year. Yeah. Let's see, any other uh, about some Apex crapple around? Any other questions you got for Slate? Did you collect it all when you were a kid? Some cards? Yeah, or mm. Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, a little bit. A lot of the guys from your generation, it's like they're all Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, no, no sports cards, just Pokemon. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was way bigger then, you know? Yeah, it was huge. Yu-Gi-Oh is huge. Yeah. When I was a kid, they all we had was like baseball cards. And that, it was big, like in the 90s. It was huge baseball cards, you know? A little smaller now, but it's like a more passionate group of stuff. And you've got all these autographs. And, you know, they'll take like all the patches from like this Nike swoosh or like your chest piece and make like these big patch cards with autographs. You probably signed some. Yeah. yeah. Totally different now. Let's see. Any other questions? Tim got the Broncos? Oh. Last question for you. Excited about living in New York? Yeah, I mean, people say it's a, a good city. Yeah. Say there's, say there's good pizza. Yeah, yeah there's. Um, I'll be the, you know, have be the, the judge of that. that out, yeah. So, well, I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Sure. Hope you have a good year. We'll be watching you. Thank you for having me.